I should have known, but I was so focused because I was like reading the resume of Rinko or Rinka, and I saw the assistant, right? Whatever her name was. And I was like, oh, that must be who the blonde girl is with the glasses. It should have immediately connected in my head that it was Asuna because she sent her an email. And when the glasses came off, I was like, holy fuck, it was a wig the entire time. Crazy shit. We're finally getting into who's running all this shit. And obviously, it's like, you know, people related to Kaiba, right? The core members are on Kaiba. And, you know, we, that, we have that Kikoka guy. We're in, like, the middle of the ocean. Ocean turtle pig fucking HQ. And this is where Kirito is, apparently. Now, let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. キリト君はどこだから言ったじゃないですか。あの少年はこの計画最大のセキュリティホールだって。危ぶじなんですか。彼を治療できると言ったのは嘘だったんですか。ドラッグ。ドラッグ。ドラッグ。ドラッグ。
bro, what's he got right now? He's talking through it. Right? That's his voice as the AI simulation thing is talking. <laughs> Give it a fucking panic attack. Fuck around with it, bro. Be like, you're not real. You're a copy of me. You're stuck in that fucking screen. Just start to give it a fucking existential crisis, dude. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just such a fun concept whenever we have AI technology or stuff like that. Of like the fucking around with the AI of the NPC. And just like giving it like a like a reality check of like, you're not real. I fucking programmed you, bro. <laughs> what? But, but I'm Higa! What? <laughs> this is the dangerous shit with like science fiction and AI, right? Once you successfully copy a soul, it's like, they're not gonna listen. They think that they're the original, right? It's actually so scary. Something about this just feels so immoral, you know? Like, it feels like we've gone too far. This entire conversation of like copied Higa just having a panic attack, it feels like we are now creating abominations. Like, this is like a sin. Like, something in the Bible should have fucking prevented us from doing this. Yeah, it feels like we're crossing a line. Like, what does it mean to be human? What does it mean to be God? Can you just simply take away or create lives like this? I, I, it's just intuitively, I feel that it's wrong. <laughs> You're aware of the danger to reflect light if you lose the capacity for rational thought. If they start panicking having irrational thoughts, what happens? The soul disappears? No human person, no reasonable being could recite all the digits of pi. But you can. Because you are an AI, you're a computer, but it doesn't understand or recognize that. Because it thinks that an imposter could possibly never recite the digits. But like we as humans know, only you, a computer, could do something like that. Oh, he's cooking. <laughs> no! We're dividing by zero, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, about to the Just like Yu-Gi-Oh and Alice, the kids in the game, right? Cause they grew up from oh. They're all fucking... But then, Yuji had system alert in the eye while observing Alice. That means there's something wrong with Alice right now. Alice is close to gaining sentience and like, basically doing what he guys doing? I, I don't know. Just everybody, right? Raise all the video game character NPCs from children from scratch. And they're gonna think that like, they're not copies. I, I don't know. This is crazy. <笑>うだ。でもそれ全く同じレベルのものを作るなんて。不可能だね。だから気づいたんだ。存在してるって。VRMMを。That's <笑> Four members of Rasta have raised 16 soul archetypes as AI infants to the age of 18. I'm gonna assume that this village is where we started off in the tutorial zone. This is so crazy. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause like, like, how are they gonna fucking have kids, right? <laughs> One day, alright, uh, beep boop beep boop, taking new baby souls and- Oh, here you are, new baby, congrats! 
さらに世代交代が進み、mm. And like 5,000 times the speed of the real world Cause like you don't have all fucking day to like wait around for these simulation things to grow, right? So for the sake of their test, like it makes sense why this happened には人口8万人という一大社会が形成されるに至ったんだよそれは This civilization map is actually pretty interesting because this is the central cathedral, right? Basically, this is the ruby palace where Alice is waiting. But this part of the land is red. This part is like green, grayish. This is like white, and this is just like gray. I wonder if the central city is also kind of like, it seems like segregated into four different regions, right? So, same way of how, like, I don't know, ALO has different fairy races. Maybe they all hate each other. <laughs> ひとつの文明シミュレーションじゃないすでに480年が経過し首都セントリアの人口は2万に達している現時点の成長をこれ,、well. これなら次の段階へ進むことができると喜んだわけです、ね、しかし,し,かし法律協会と呼ばれる行政機関が近畿目録という法律を作り上げたあーオッケー So I thought that maybe we created this Kabu Index We as in Kikoku and the developers But this is something that they inherently came up with. Interesting. But, Genjit Sekai to do yoni Satsujin o Kinjiru Iko Moata. Daga, Ningen Gaikani Sutaro. Tokoroga, Fractorito Tachiba, Ho Mamoru. Mamori Singir Hodoni, eh, Dir. Michiniva Gomi Hitotsu Naku, Dorobo, a Hitori Moras, Okita Kotoa Nai. It's like Utopia. It's like, it seems like Utopia, but like, it's because. Anytime someone breaks the fucking rule, it is that extreme. What kind of civilization would you rather live in, right? Somewhere where it seems like utopia, there is no criminals because as soon as there's a potential criminal, you just fucking die. It's kind of crazy, right? That's why utopia is sometimes, it's just contradicting. Because in order to achieve that, so much sacrifice needs to go in there to the point where it almost seems inhumane. <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah, because Kikoka's glass, bro, his glass fucking tinted white all of a sudden. AI is capable of murder, and then look at Kikoka's glass. <laughs> Anytime you have an enemy care. Like, this dude is straight up Aizen. He has the haircut, he has the glasses, he, he, ha he fits the role where he's, you know, leading everything. Bro is literally Aizen, bro. What the fuck? This dude! He's definitely doing it! <laughs> その技術が警察や自衛隊の訓練に転用できるからだと推測をがかりすぎます。これほどのことを自衛官であるあなたがやる理由。You're being god. I see. そうじゃないですか。本当なの、菊岡さん。Avi, when you look at his face, if you just look at him, right? It just feels like, yeah, you finally figured me out. So his goal was to create. So floodlight AIs. They're just too nice, too diligent. They're perfect. They will always obey the law, right? But they cannot kill because they're obeying the law because of the taboo index. But if we were able to figure out a way to make them imperfect and fall for that kind of shit, then he could create those clones and then implant those souls into fucking stormtrooper clones, you know, and have his own army of. He's world domination? Like, that's it? What the fuck? Kikuoka san. Bingo. Okay. This is actually pretty interesting. この世界から戦争がなくなる死なずに住むようになるんならって、hmm. ガキっぽい理由好き。It's like a very idealistic reason, right? And the whole idea is if we're able to create stormtroopers with this, you know, new AI technology, then no one would bother trying to, you know, start war because you know that you're just gonna lose, and that's why you prevent people from dying in war anymore. I, 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 I guess that makes sense, right? I, I guess so. But like, man, wouldn't it be interesting? If the monster that you created started to question and go against you, right? Like right now, like when they realize what their lives are and, and like imagine the truth was told to them, right? How would they behave? Would they be able to come up with their own thought and be like, we're just going to revolt? Like how, how, how is that going to work? It'd be interesting to think of 
Like, the craziest shit. Like, imagine there's a moment in the game where there's, like, an AI character that's just, like, Kikuka's listening. And, and, and they're, like, they actually have, they actually are aware of that they're in, living in a simulation. And they're, like, a revolutionary to go against Kikuka or something. I don't know. That'd be so fascinating. Nope. And that is a very philosophical debate. Does AIs have rights? The artificial floodlights, which are based off of fucking real human babies, do they have rights or not? I am too ignorant to give an answer to that. I don't know. It's like, are they our tools for our bidding? Or are they our equals? I, 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 don't, I don't know. And this is going to be so fascinating. In the next 10 to 20 years, man. Like, this discussion is so fucking deep. Like, unironically, this isn't even like, I'm 14 and this is deep. Like, this is going to be our future in the next, like, 10 to 20 years. He definitely didn't talk to you that. Damn! And like... Like, 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 there's a part of me that wants to agree with that. Because like, those 100,000 AIs, while they were the work products of like, you know, copying artificial, like, through artificial floodlights, you can't just simply clone them over and over again, right? You can. But that SDF soldier can no longer exist when they're done. This is crazy. So much so, why did Kirigaya Kun get the job? The most important thing. So, I can explain that. Like, I guarantee you, if we watch the movie or some kind of fucking show, where, like, imagine the premise of the movie was like this: you, without being aware, you are an AI. You don't even know you're an AI, but you think that you're a real person. You live in this city where everyone is AI people, and everything just seems like real life. And then the oppressors are the real human beings, and you see how fucked up everything is. Or e the story could be something as cliche as an actual human being went into an AI city and realized that they're all basically normal humans, and they all were able to, you know, habituate and get along with each other. And later, the if people start to realize what's actually going on, and then he's gonna the main character that was human, and then went into AI town is gonna start having these conflicts in their head and be like, this is fucked. How can the AI people just get sacrificed like this? The real humans out there are absolute fucking monsters, right? If you have that kind of um, experience, you're gonna side with the AI, right? You will, because they feel more human to you than the humans do who created this shit. I don't know, that's a good question. Does it have to do with natural sin? Like, this is some religious shit now we're mixing with, like, pseudoscience, where it's, like, human beings, like Adam and Eve, like, you ate the fucking forbidden apple, right? There's this natural sin, something about humankind, we're irrational creatures, we're not perfect, and we're going to make mistakes and sometimes do the wrong thing. But these things are not like that. They are perfect. They are, they don't have this, like, origin sin, you know? キリトフ。これでもう分かったろ。Damn. Now we're back into the game. No, 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 we're still in I got faded. We're not in elicitation. We got fucked up. I got faded. We're still not back in the game. But even if we're not back in the game yet, even though like we left up with you know Kirito and Yuji going off to the central cathedral place, like this is fascinating. This is crazy. Like Everything is starting to come to places like pieces like Kikoka is finally revealing the mask and his like his his ulterior motives ever since like the end of season one and the beginning of GGO and working with Kirito like this is crazy man. It is honestly such a deep deep topic that I just don't have answers for. Oh no. What are you guys gonna side with? The AIs? Do they, do they have rights? Or um, would you save one real human being if it meant killing one million AIs? Actually. That's a dumb question, because most of you, if I gave you the proposition right now, here's a button. If you press this button, you get a million dollars every press. But know that with every press, like 100,000 people die. People that you don't know from the other side of the world. You have no clue. 
And most people are just gonna fucking... They're not gonna press it once. They're gonna fucking keep pressing that shit until it's not gonna happen anymore, right? So if you give that example, already humans are fine sacrificing other humans for their own gain. So why wouldn't they be fine with sacrificing AI? It'd be an even easier choice to make, right? He definitely has more secrets, man. <laughs> Lisbeth Loki just got cucked right now. As soon as Kirito, as soon as Lisbeth heard there was a boy and a girl Kirito was always playing with, Lisbeth made this face. <laughs> System alert. Now that makes a lot more sense, right? Because she broke the fucking taboo index. And that's why it was system alert. There's something wrong with this girl. Does that mean Alice is can kill? Right? People that are willing to break the taboo index are gonna kill. Alice is the perfect specimen to Kikoka, right? Am I wrong? System alert and then Yuji. I don't know why Yuji. Why only Yuji with the I don't know. What are we talking about right now? We saw that another floodlight died in the restricted address in full view of the girl. Okay. This girl prioritized someone else's life over the Tapu Index. Oh yeah, the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Touchdown? What? Oh, there is some Alice in Wonderland, right? She did look like Alice in Wonderland, but whoa, 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 whoa. Because Alice also didn't listen. What was the whole theme of Alice in Wonderland? Why did she get into the Wonderland? Because she was following something that she shouldn't have been, right? She, got, she went into the rabbit hole. She, she, she chased after it. Dude, it's been a long time since I've read this story. Shit's been like since I was a fucking kid, but... She did, out of curiosity, do something and ended up in a different world, right? Artificial Label Intelligence Cybernated Existence. Acronyms. That, 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 that's it. And Alice became Alice. Alright. Project Arisization. Whoa! Oh! Oh, Alice is. See. I haven't heard the way that you pronounce that name, so I couldn't connect Alice's name with. I, I thought it was Aliceization, but now that he says it, Aliceization, Alice, this is it. Yokoso, the classroom of the elites. I don't understand everything I've ever seen, but if you want to Alice to the Fractolite, then. Ah, and what? In the real world, there is a lot of speed and time, so. <笑>気づいた時には内部では2日経っていて、その女の子のフラクトライトは嘘って。フラクトライトは観察対象なのにそんな権限を与えていたの。でも人工フラクトライトの一部は申請術。That's <笑> All right, main wife, please go see our husband and uh, let us know how it went, main wife. They said that they let me pay Kirito to visit when he sleeps. It's almost time for that. Is he not always sleeping? Maybe he's sleeping in the gate? I don't fucking know what you mean by that. He's always in just sleeping in Medicare Boy lab. You know what's crazy? Kirito, Asuna just leaked all that confidential information that should never been even allowed to these random ass fucking girls. Like, that is such a liability. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Dude, you can't... People, people 
people work. I, I I know our core group wouldn't say shit, but like, damn, Kikoka, you really just let that shit happen, huh? Other wives have the rights. You know what? You're right. This this is. They're all actual Kirito family, right? They they are actual wives, so you're right. They do have the rights to list. Yeah, yeah, fine. Oh, that's the nurse from GGR, remember? あなたは千代田区の病院の機体に寄贈していたんですか？まさか私はあのおじさまと違って本物自衛隊東京病院高等看護学校ってとこなんだそうであります。Combat medic nurse. Alright。よろしくお願いします。アスナ書くパラネス。任せてちょうだい。できますよね。いや、probably。もちろんよ。キリト君のフラクトライトは治療用プログラム。I エセを。私、あなたに話しておかなくちゃならないことがあるの。What?。うん。プレイヤー全員に告白しなきゃいけないことが。I've <笑> Hold up, Kayaba has gone through such a redemption arc so far, and now it just got undone. He planted a micro bomb so that she wouldn't betray him. What the fuck? Oh. Oh wait, 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 wait! Back to redemption, back to redemption. Ah, oh, okay, he's such a good guy. Oh man, oh see. See, Kai was such a good guy. He did this so that she wouldn't go to jail. Wow, okay, Redemption Orc is back. あの人が私にくれた。たった一つの苦しんがくした時点で、カヤバ君はすでにアーガスの開発部長だったようだけど、私は許してばかりいる燃やしっこにしか見えなくて。あ、シュウさんもすボス。たまにはソドさん出ね
私にもキリト君にもそしてリンコさんあなたにも罪は償えるようなものじゃない永遠に許しを得られる日は来ないのかもしれませんと向き合い続けていかなければならないんです What a main character speech from us now man Just move forward That is the path to atonement Hurtens Rinko Kaiba He's not actually there どうしたのまだ朝早い Is it a flashback? Dream Was that Kaiba? Human was he there? Was Kaiba here? Kaiba's Kaiba's ghost is here, bro. Yeah, that was real, bro. He he was here. Hmm. And that's another episode of SCO, and finally we know how to pronounce this goddamn season. It's not Alicization, it's Arisization. And the name Aris, Alice in Wonderland, chasing after you know the bunny and then doing something that she shouldn't have done. Alice. You know, taboo and that's breaking it. She is the idealized AI that Kikoka is looking for that's capable of breaking the rules and killing. It is so interesting, this whole lore and the debate of do AIs have rights? Does it matter? One single SDF soldier's life is more important than a million AI life because the AI is not real. But if you were to live with those AIs and you're able to sympathize with them and realize how human they were, I bet that you couldn't make that distinction. Of course, of course, Kikoka can say this in a, such a cold, ruthless way because he is personally, you know, um, he's personally experienced with the SDF, right? He probably has experienced comrade law, so he's going to value that a lot more. But I guarantee you, if you send Kikoka like a couple of years to live with the AI and, and them dying and, and, and it almost feeling like it's the real thing, he probably wouldn't say the same thing. It's all about empathy at the end of the day. The reason Kikoka can some, say something so cold is because he cannot empathize with AI. They're simply data, copies of babies, which were real, which is fucked up, but he's never directly interacted with them in the same way that he's interacted with the SDF. And once you have a once you have a closer relationship with a certain group, you're gonna act the same way shit too, right? I, I it's a very interesting topic. And while I, I don't know, I really don't know. It, it, this is a fucking complex problem that no one really has the answers for and probably will be one of the most important questions in the next like 10 to 20 years. And regarding Kirito right now, basically Medicu Boy tech, Wrath, you know, all this tech to get his brain back going. We're gonna basically uh, reform his neural networks. And then Rinko Baxter with Kaiba. Kaiba Loki hilarious. Like Kaiba is just so... He, it's, I don't think this is supposed to be a funny scene, but it's just so stupidly funny to me, especially when he was like, oh, you're here with the knife. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to play World of Warcraft. Bye. <laughs> it just leak started. And now I expect us to be pretty much done with the uh, exposition outside of the game and it kind of explaining what the hell has been happening this entire time. And I want Asuna to actually get into the game so that she doesn't just become benched like in GGO. I want her to be in there, but you know, we'll see how that works. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.